subject of scrutiny today is the lawnmower amber lager brewed uh, by the backyard brewery uh, and i'm interested to see what this one's like this one came in at home bargains for 69 pence per 330 milliliter can Ooh, interesting let's see how she pours uh, quite a frisky head on it not the ideal way to pour it like this people so but just because i'm trying to hold the camera in one hand and pour with the other yeah there we go i'll let that settle for two minutes very ambery okay it's died down a little bit um let's top it up a little bit more not too much because i'm gonna give that a little sniff there we go let's put it up to the light okay it's uh, it's obviously not naturally carbonated. It's been pumped full of CO2. The bubbles look quite big in there for me. And judging by the way the head smashed its way to the top of the glass. Um, yeah, it's quite a dark amber colour. Um, yeah. I'll give you a little smell. Nice picture of a cow while I give it a smell. Mm. Very, very metallic -y. It smells like it's been brewed in a big, big brewery. In big, big um, tanks. It's got that sort of smell about it. It actually smells like a... Quite a commercial lager. Maybe like a, a Carlin or something like that. Or not Carlin. Not as bad as that. It smells like a Stones or something. Something that's decent enough. Now. Now the head's dissipated a little bit. I was getting little toffee notes then. Which were quite nice. And then they quickly disappeared again. I'm not getting a lot of the smell. It's quite fresh. It's quite it's slightly herbal. Um, got a crisp smell to it. Slight lemon zest maybe on the smell. Do, 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 get a little bit more of a swish. And that's it. I am getting a bit of a maltiness on it. A little bit of a maltiness. So here we go. Give this one a try. I'm not blown away by the smell, I'm not going to lie to you. Mm. You're getting quite a sweet maltiness on it. Um, a slight caramel taste to it. It's quite pleasant actually, carbonation isn't too bad. That's quite pleasant. It's how you'd like a log anyway, quite quite gassy, you know. It's got this over overriding metallic -y smell to it though. It does remind me of stones. I had a can of stones recently. And it does remind me of that a little bit. Now brewed by cause, of course. Yeah, you're getting slight grassy notes on it. Like I said, like slightly herbal, but on the taste. No bright sweetness, maltiness, carameliness. It's quite the sweetness is quite pleasant actually. It's quite nice. Um, I'm getting a slight dried fruit on it as well, almost like a raisininess on it on the back end. Um, it's quite malty. I, I, I'm not really getting much on a hop character on this at all. Apart from on the smell, it's got a, a slight grassy. Slight lemoniness, maybe. Hot wise, I'm I'm really not sure what's in there. Um, but it's got like a sweetness, which is suggesting something a little bit more fruity. There's not a line there. Anyway, let's let's read what it says. Let's read what it says. So the lawnmower lager. It says here, brewer Daniel. Thanks, Daniel. Type Amber Lager, Malts, Pilsner, uh, Munch, Munchner is that, and Caramel. Well, you're getting the carameliness on it. Um, yeah, it's got like a, it's, I'll tell you what it has got, it's got like a, a bit of a sharpness with the hops. There's like a little sharpness to it, um, which is quite lingering. Oh, not overwhelmingly pleasant though. Um, hops, Zeus, Cascade and Amarillo. 
Well, I would have never guessed that. I certainly wouldn't have guessed Amarillo's in there. I'm not getting anything that of an Amarillo co- uh, character in that at all. Don't get me wrong, it's nice enough. Um, IBU's 31, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Uh, taste, the lawnmower has a loud, noisy body combined with a fresh cut hoppiness, making it refresh- refreshingly balanced. Served chilled, ideal for salty foods. It's got a little bit of saltiness to it, actually. Now think about it. Hmm. It's okay. It's quite nice. And the sweetness, it's got like a really nice um, sweetness to it, actually. That makes it quite more. It's the kind of thing I'd, I'd love to drink in summer. Um, serve well chilled. Um, it says, oh, serve cooler than a mother-in-law's love. Uh, use after or instead of lawn mowing only. <laughs> um, what else we've got on there? Contains gluten. Best before, see bottom of can. It's well been its sell by date. I checked earlier. Uh, so we've got to 21st of May 2018. So we're okay with that. Uh, 69p. Can't go wrong at 69p, I suppose. Uh, I'm glad I haven't paid much for it. I think I'd have been slightly glad to change hands because arms hurting today. If I'd if I'd have paid more than sixty nine p for it, um, I'd have been a bit like, mm, it's okay. But because it's sixty nine p, it is drinkable. It's nice enough. Um, I'm not going to quite give it a seven out of ten. I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it. Um, I'm going to give it a 6.9 out of 10. 6.9 out of 10. It's not quite a 7 for me. There's something that's just taking it away a little bit. Maybe it's the metallicness um, that I, I don't, I'm don't. i not too keen on. Uh, let's see where it's brewed. Don't tell us anything about where it's brewed. Oh, here we go. Uh, it's canned in Sweden by Carlsberg. Right, so it's a big brewery. Uh, so there we go. Well, we need to know about that. Would I buy this again for 69p? Yeah, of course I would. I'd, I, I would happily buy this again. I think it's nice enough. It's sessionable enough. It's nice thing to take around to your dad's on a... Your mum and dad's on a, on a Sunday afternoon to have a Sunday dinner. Or some salty food, as it says on the can. I think it's a nice nice enough beer, but... You know, it, it, it's got like a... It's got like a, a mass-produced taste to it as well. It's quite metallic here. It's got a nice little caramel sweet note to it. There's some dried fruit for me going on. It's all. It's more about the malts actually, character than the hops. I'm not getting the amarillo. I'm not getting really getting the cascade either. Apart from on the smell, it's slightly lemony. So yeah, uh, lawnmower. Uh, yeah, sixty nine p. Worth picking up. Treat yourself to some. Put something back at the fridge when your friends come. But don't worry if you miss out. Till next time. Please leave your comments. I've been Swigging Steve, uh, and I'll see you next time.